when people watch this movie, I hope by the end they notice this, these people came to the Lord by faith, asking for his help, and God helped them out. The end result was beautiful. Not necessarily easy, but beautiful. And it's a lot of the result people want in their lives. So when you watch this film, we hope it draws you closer to God and increases your faith. Hi, I'm Cody Mitchell, and welcome to the Daily Declaration podcast. Today, I was joined by Alex Kendrick, who is an actor and producer. Uh, he's been involved in films like War Room, Fireproof, Facing the Giants, Overcomer, Courageous, and so on. Um, we're talking to him about his most recent film, Life Mark, which is a uh, really powerful film that stands in support of life. Um, it's releasing in Australian theatres today, uh, going forward, and really encourage you to go and, and check it out. Um, but uh, here's the conversation. I hope you enjoy it. Welcome to the podcast, Alex. Yeah, yeah it's good to be with you, Cody. Yeah, it's, it's great to be able to chat with you. Um, I just want to talk about your latest film, Life Mark. Um, it was released, I think, about a month ago in America, so it's been out for a little while. Um, it's only just being released here in Australia. Um, could you tell us a little bit about your heart behind the film? Um, what inspired you to create it? Well, we had finished the movie Overcomer in 2019, and we're about to release it in theaters. And Kirk Cameron gave us a call. He said, guys, you've got to look at this short documentary called I Lived on Parker Avenue. He watched it on YouTube. He said it just brought him to tears and it grabbed his heart. And uh, Kirk has adopted four of his six kids. And so my brother Stephen and I watched this little documentary called I Lived on Parker Avenue. It's a true story about an 18-year-old girl who rolls off the abortion table at the last second and tells the doctor, don't do this procedure. I, I am uh, going to choose adoption for this child. She walks out of the clinic, places the baby for adoption, you know, ultimately when she has it. A Christian couple who could not have their own children adopted this baby and named him David. When David grew to be about 19 years old, he crossed paths with his biological mother, Melissa, who had walked out of the clinic. And uh, she thought he might hate her. And instead, he wraps her up in a loving hug and says, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful for the decision that you made, the family that I have. And it just melted her heart. She cried with him. And today, Melissa speaks around our country and then and beyond about her story, her faith in Jesus Christ and, and that decision. David does the same thing. He is now married and is a lawyer that helps other families adopt children. Now, I've told you the shell of the story. There's lots of twists and turns in there that you'll love in the movie. I haven't released yet. But uh, this film, Life Mark, it was a joy to make this. The real people were on set with us as we made it. Kirk Cameron's in it with us. And it's just uh, a movie that came out at the perfect time as well. We were not uh, aware that Roe vs. Wade in America was going to be overturned this year. So as that, as that uh, was overturned, the movie comes out promoting the value of life and that God is the author of life and we need to preserve and, and stand for life, support it. And so it has just been an incredible impact already and can't wait for you to see it as well. Yeah, no, it sounds like such a compelling storyline. As you mentioned, it's it's based on a true story. Um, you know, I imagine creating a, a film based on a, a true life narrative is is kind of difficult. What were some of the, the challenges to creating a, a real life based film? Well, you know, uh, as, as stories uh, happen in real life, they are not structured in a three act script. And so we have to take what really happened and fit it in a movie format as best we can. But we did not want to change uh, anything more than absolutely necessary for it to be become an hour and a half movie, a 90 minute movie. And so uh, we worked with the real people. And so the structure is a little bit different because it's based on a true story, but still very exciting. We had to figure out how to do things we had never done before. 
We filmed skydiving and cliff jumping and ATV racing and things that we had not yet done and figured that out. And it was great fun to do that, a little scary at times. But those were really a part of the actual story that the real people were doing. And so we said, let's stick it all in the movie. And so we did it. And th that was a little bit of a challenge for us. But I love the end result. And I, and I hope viewers love it too. Yeah, and it sounded like it would have been really, really exciting to to film as well. You mentioned uh, earlier that uh, you started filming Life Mark uh, long before um, the pretty landmark decision to overturn Roe versus Wade in America. Um, so there's this really significant um, way in which uh, the film speaks into the post Roe landscape. Um, that timing was really providential, wasn't it? It was, and we see God's fingerprints all over this. You know, um, we've been praying for this for so long, uh, and it's not the end of the ball game either. It's a touchdown, but it's not the end of the ball game. So uh, we are excited about that being overturned because we see the value and the beauty of life itself. It's a gift from God. And so uh, as the body of Christ, we have to step out now with compassion and grace and help those with unplanned pregnancies and help them either uh, raise their children or place them for adoption. And that is their choice, but we want to preserve life. And we have seen remarkable story after story after story of adoption and uh, and how God comes through in so many different ways. And, and to be honest, when I look at it spiritually, I am adopted in Christ, as Ephesians chapter 2 tells me, uh, because I put my faith and trust in Jesus Christ. He's adopted me into his spiritual family. And you are the same if you've put your faith and trust in Jesus. So uh, so I'm spiritually adopted, and we're also promoting uh, physical adoption in families. And so Life Mark helps us to do that. And again, we hope it grabs a lot of people's hearts. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, you've said you know, in another interview that people have started to kind of re-examine this issue of, of abortion uh, at a heart level, um, sort of as opposed to a really polarized political level. Do you think that because Life Mark is a true story, uh, it speaks in a really special way into this sort of discussion? I do. You know, um, it's interesting. There was a man who was 32 years old in one of the early screenings of Life Mark here in the States. And he sat in the back of the room with his arms folded, you know, this, this grumpy look on his face. And at the end of the screening, he was in tears. He came up to me. He said, can I talk to you for a second? He said, I'm 32. My wife and I have not been able to have children, but I have not been open to, abor uh, to adoption either. And my wife has wanted me to consider adoption. He said, I sat in this movie. Uh, my heart was closed to it, and halfway through, the Lord taps on my heart and says, you can do this. And he said, I just melted. And by the end of watching this true story, it's a beautiful true story, he said, I realized the Lord was saying, I'll walk with you, you can adopt. And so I'm going to home to tell my wife, let's do this, let's adopt. And so he cried, he thanked me and gave me a hug. And I was thinking, Lord, man, if you do things like this in people's lives, I'm so excited about any result this movie brings. Absolutely. That's such a phenomenal story. Um, one of the things that seems to be really powerful uh, about the film is that it approaches really complex issues of, uh, well, co complex issues around abortion um, with a really hopeful and inspiring and positive message, um, which really can stand in contrast to a lot of the, the dialogue and rhetoric around that issue. Um, do you see this film as reaching out to an audience um, beyond the Christian community? I do. You know, we, we, of course, we start with the Christian community because Christians have to step up with unplanned pregnancies and offer hope, healing, redemption, prayer, and support. And the way we have to do that is with uh, compassion and grace. You know, the, the, the uh, rhetoric back and forth on both sides of this debate gets pretty ugly. And often people just throw facts at each other, thinking it's going to change the mindset of the other side, and it's not. And so the way to do this is with love, grace, and compassion, reach across where you lower your guard and you say, we just want to love and help people. And uh, the other side responds to that. 
And so just as Jesus did, when we present truth with love and we do so with compassion, it's more well received. And so telling this true story, hey, it's hard to argue with a true story. And telling this true story touches so many people's lives and it's already changing mindsets here in the States. So we're excited about what it could do worldwide. Uh, including Australia. So we're just going to let it say what it needs to say. And the fact that it's true and we didn't have to add anything to it. We just present the story as it happened and we'll let it speak for itself. Yeah, absolutely. Now I had the privilege of, of seeing the film sort of in advance and, and I can testify that it, to be honest, it's one of the, the most powerful pro-life messages that I've heard in the way that it really manages to cut through um, the, the hostile re- rhetoric and, and really uh, get practical. So you know, as I, as I mentioned, um, the film's been out in America for a while. Um, what has been the reception like so far in, in terms of from the audience perspective and also critics? Well, we've been surprised. Critics uh, so far in America have given it a 100% approval rating, which is crazy. You know, we've never had that before. Uh, the audience gave it a 97%, which is one of the highest we've received. So we're very grateful for that and surprised by it. There are those that don't want movies like this to be made at all. It's not that they hate the movie. It's that they just don't want these positive messages, messages about supporting life to come out at all. So we have had some criticism in regard to the fact that it exists, but uh, that is okay. Again, we're trying to lovingly present truth and, and true stories and um, so, yes, I think there's going to be a debate regarding this for some time. But Scripture says, defend those who cannot defend themselves. And we, we count those um, developing human lives in, in the womb as people who cannot defend themselves. And so we want to show grace, but, but at the same time be strong in our efforts to say life is worth preserving and fighting for. And so that's where we stand and, uh, and again, so people that are watching the movie already are touched by it and they leave, you know, re-examining their view on whether we should preserve life or give the right to abortion. And so um, we're, we're grateful for that. So we'll invite anybody to see the movie that wants to see it in hopes that uh, that'll grab their heart and, and challenge the way they, they view it. Now, I will say we're getting a flood of response and most of it is very surprising some people that said I had a, an abortion that no one knew about when I was 16 or 17 or or um, that I'm adopted and I haven't told anybody else. I've asked my family to even keep it quiet that I'm adopted. They're, they're opening their heart to realizing this is not a terrible thing. Adoption is beautiful. And, uh, and, and finding redemption and forgiveness from an abortion is also beautiful. And so we want to bring hope to people and, and put them in touch with the Lord who loves them and offers forgiveness and redemption. Yeah, absolutely. And there's something powerful about the way that um, that message is able to be conveyed through a film as opposed to through conversations. It's true. You know, when people see a movie, um, it, it, it can leave a, a stronger imprint than if they just hear a, a message. Now, I am all for church and good preaching and pastors, but it's interesting how I sometimes struggle to remember the, the pastor sermon from a month ago, but I can remember movies I saw 10, 15 years ago because the, the visual imagery, the emotion, the music, everything that goes with it uh, kind of helps that message or the story to put an imprint on our lives. So we are very excited to tell uh, these kinds of stories in the form of feature films and, uh, and the response is just incredible. And so as long as the Lord keeps the door open, we'll keep doing that. No, that's great. Um, and it's been such an encouragement to so many people. I can testify personally over here within my small circles um, who've been helped and inspired and encouraged by your films. Um, one, one last thing that I'd love to, to sort of ask you is if there is one feeling, um, I guess one thought, one lesson that you would love people to take away from this film, what would that be? There is a God who created life and it is a gift for us, and he loves you. Whatever circumstance you're in, he wants you. He wants you in a relationship with him. 
and that through Jesus Christ, he gives us a clean heart and a clean mind and a relationship with him, as well as eternal, uh, you know, an eternal home in heaven after we pass away. And so uh, to value what God values is what ultimately we want to bring to people. And we want to do so with love, truth, and compassion. And so as I value what God values, my life gets more fulfilled and rich. Uh, not that life is easy. Life is not easy. But at the same time, joy is available. Forgiveness is available. Hope is available. So when you trust the Lord, those are some of the byproducts of that relationship with him. So when people watch this movie, I hope by the end they notice this. these people came to the Lord by faith, asking for his help, and God helped them out. The end result was beautiful. Not necessarily easy, but beautiful. And it's a lot of, uh, it's, it's a lot of the result people want in their lives. So when you watch this film, we hope it draws you close closer to God and increases your faith. Mm, absolutely. And I think the film does that really, really well. So um, thanks for your time today, Alex. I really appreciate talking to you. God bless you. Good to talk with you. Are you okay with people knowing that you're adopted? Yes. Mostly. Not really. Do you remember asking to see that when you were about eight years old? How old were they? I think she was 18, and he was 17. I honestly had no idea that this many people were wanting to adopt. Imagine how scared she must have been. She was pregnant when she graduated, and then the decision to place you for adoption. God, if you're there, please protect him and watch over him. <laughs> There's a birth mother on the line with a question for you. It must have been the hardest decision of her entire life. Hello? But she loved you. And I'm so glad that she made the choice that she did. I've always wondered if my biological parents think about me. Today is David's 18th birthday. You want to talk to him? I don't think he'd want to talk to me. There's only one way to find out. I guess maybe I didn't want to feel different. You didn't want to be an idiot. I don't want to be different. Different. Okay, good. That's a lot better. God gave you to me and Mom as a gift. And you will always be our son. Is that your birth mom? She wants to meet. Really? Yeah. This is huge! Hey, what's up, Emily? How's it going? That's Elizabeth. Really strongly encourage you to get out and see the film while it's in theaters. To find where you can see LifeMark, you can go to the website, lifemarkmovie.com.au, and you can find a list of cinemas that are screening LifeMark on that page. Really encourage everyone to get out there, bring your, your friends and family and your church along. Uh, we really need to support this powerful film. So we'll include links to the LifeMark movie website in the description below where you can find all that information.